Hey, it's the Terminion Hero here, and we're playing some more Crash 2. And we're hopefully not gonna die while we're backtracking here. Because if we do, we failed, and yeah. Now, this is the part that scares me, but I have Aku Aku here, so hopefully it won't be that bad. Okay. Thank you, Aku Aku. You helped me survive. I also I also left this guy alive just in case I needed to bounce off of him. Which I did. So that was smart of me there. Would have been so mad if I would have got there and I would have been like, Oh my gosh, how the heck do you get back up there? You can't do it. Ah, but no, I, I knew what to do. I almost jumped off the level there. That would have been crap. I'm a trash man. Okay. I'm not a mask, I don't need to be going oogla <laughs> oogla. Ow. Okay, I did get a checkpoint, good. You know, I, I was right about to say this isn't that hard to <laughs> go figure. Yeah, you know, I always say this stuff isn't that hard, but I've also had lots of experience with this game, so maybe it'd be a lot harder for someone who's new to the series. Okay, good, it's a gem. I didn't I, I didn't want to have to copy Tim's green rupee scream again. Don't need to watch your dance. We're going to rock it. Now this level introduces a whole new mechanic to the game. Look at this. You notice we're in a space world. It's jetpack time. Yeah, we can still spin. X goes forward, circle goes backward, up, down, left. Up, down, left, and right is the control stick, but up and down are inverted, so watch out for that if you're not used to inverted controls. It could take a while just to get used to the controls in general. By the way, I'm pretty sure the walls here are hot and will hurt you, but I'm not. I, I actually, I don't think they will. No, they don't hurt you. But I think there are... But there are some that will hurt you later. Obviously, that big laser beam would hurt you. I like these jetpack levels. They're pretty cool. I just completely destroyed that checkpoint crate. Nice. And as for the TNT, you just touch it, and it starts going off. Oh, they're firing their lasers, aren't they? They got a pattern, though, so just watch out for it. See, when you see things flashing red like that, that means they're too hot to touch. Also, this guy up here, I'm pretty- yeah, he's an electrical beast, except he's not really a beast. So you gotta time your hits against him. There's more electricity, you gotta avoid those wires. This 
really isn't that hard if you're good at controlling the jetpack, but like I said, it can take quite a while to get used to the jetpack's controls. I like how you can see the earth and the moon in the background. It's pretty cool. You can see the way the space station is spinning. crystal randomly floating here, but I mean, even when they're not in space, they always seem to randomly float there, don't they? And that's it for the jetpack level. Wasn't that many crates, 39. And I think there was only 20, like, non-nitro crates. Think wow. That was quick and easy. Look how fast we beat that level. When's the last time we beat a level that fast? Yeah, Crash, I'll let you dance to that. But now we're going to night fight. Now if you remember, there was one dark level earlier in the game totally fly. So yes, this level uses the fly mechanic again. So... Yeah, there's also a secret gem in this level. So I'm kinda worried about that. Yeah, these, this fly mechanic was in the first game, if you've seen my LP. It just wasn't a fly, it was light Aku Akus. Now here, they found a way to do this without messing with your... W w messing with your health. Oh gosh. Oh, way to go, Crash! Well, I activated the platform, so it's fine now. Doesn't look like there's any crates that way up to... Well, that's not where the light's supposed to be, is it? See, the messed up part here is we're gonna have to backtrack. And that that's exactly the problem with these fly levels, is that... They, they got you walking through the pitch black dark with pits all over the place, you know? I mean, I'm dying already and I haven't even got to the parts where I had to actually stay in the dark. Come on! Little rat and chill a thing, whatever you are. The heck are you? And what are those things? Those weird lizard flowery lion things. What the heck are those? Oh boy. Well, here's this gem. We didn't break any crates on this path, did we? My gosh, I don't... Oh crap, here's crates. So yeah, we gotta go on both paths. Oh my gosh, that sucks. You know what? I'm thinking how hard would it be to just go on the normal path and backtrack that little ways? Cause those were the only two crates, right? So 
I'm thinking we can just do this. Yeah, I'm no way I'm going for that lump of fruit. <laughs> well, you look at the timer for one second and you're almost dead. Bonus time, huh? I'm up for a little bonus. It means I can't die. <laughs> yeah, get these before getting the next fly. And you don't need that time wasted. Definitely slide under these instead of crawling so much faster. And perfect. Doing a lot better at this than I thought I'd be doing. I gotta say, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, now backtrack to the fly. Yes. Okay, I, I think that's actually how we were intended to do it. Wow. Okay, wow, this isn't bad at all now that I know what I'm doing. But isn't that the way it always is in video games? <laughs> or in life in general? Yeah, you can do fine at it as long as you actually know what the heck you're doing. <laughs> and that's that. I've only got two levels left in the game. And unfortunately, we're not going to get to them this video. So next time, we will be going to the last two levels. Pack Attack, which would be another jetpack level, and then Spaced Out. I'll see you guys next time.